Morgan is an artificial human being. She's been created from a genetically man-made an egg and a sperm. And you first meet her at the very beginning of the movie in quite uncomfortable circumstances. Yeah, um, she's getting into a bit of a tussle with Kathy. I definitely think the company is far more dangerous than Morgan because Morgan is a product of the company. They've created her for specific reasons that she's not aware of. And one of the things that I love most about her is just how innocent she is. She really is. She's been shut off from all external stimuli. She lives inside of this house. She's been outside a couple of times. I very much see the characters as, as real people. You know, the outside world is going on inside my head, just like Morgan's real inside my head. So I've spent a lot of time with who I think she is. Ever since I got the role, she's basically just been living with me. And so now it's quite easy. It was strange on my first film, I used to get very nervous before every take. And I spent so much time with this character and I've discussed her so much with Luke that now I, I feel pretty comfortable in the sense of when they yell action that I know the way that she would behave. I'm not actually conscious of it at all. Luke knows everything about everything, but he's he's been quite good with me. I'm very instinct-based. And I haven't done any any research, really. It's more of, yeah, just living with the character. So I came in a couple of weeks before the rest of the cast, and I'd come in every day and I would just talk with Luke. We wouldn't really discuss scenes, just more what Morgan's viewpoints were on certain things. And at the beginning, actually, of the process, we had a very different concept of Morgan than the one that we actually ended up with. And we came up with the final Morgan pretty much the day before filming. And we were just like, right, this is it. This is the one that we're going for. You can argue that everyone has the potential for evil. Morgan hasn't really seen it. So I don't think she's that dangerous to begin with. However, what everyone projects onto her and what she's genetically made up to be from the company, that's what's dangerous. There needs to be a certain point where people realize that what they're creating is actually something that's endangering all of us. You can't, in my mind, there's only so far you can push something without seriously wrecking havoc on the earth that we have. However, it is interesting to know that our minds are expanding enough to be able to do that. It's exciting to, to know that we have that potential. However, I don't think just because you have the potential, you need to capitalize on it.